this week. Um, first, there's some news that I want to uh, quickly get out. Um, and that's, of course, that the, the UFC events, after their month hiatus, um, are uh, starting up again um, very shortly. So look out for my predictions videos, which will be going back up. It seems an age since I've done them, though, but that's because, of course, I was off with the, uh, the Mark and Field move and the, the online sort of blackout um, for three weeks. And then when I got back, they went off uh, for a month. So it's been in oh, seven or eight weeks, I would have thought, since the last one. But uh, we're ready to, uh, to tackle that again. Um, so look out for that. Um, the other thing is that I'm giving serious consideration uh, to going uh, and attending the, um, uh, something called the MMA show in uh, Birmingham. Apparently this is a non-institutional uh, specific event, which I believe has happened before but not usually in this country. I don't know if it moves around or what. Um, and it's invited a lot of people, uh, a lot of MMA stars, you know, from all over the place, including the UFC. So obviously they aren't against their fighters attending. Um, it is mostly uh, a practical for those who want to actually do martial arts. But of course, there is a little area with, um, I'm sure, clothing stands and stuff. And uh, of course, um, autographs. So the, the question is... Uh, a, can I afford it? <laughs> um, and B, uh, it's, it's sort of do because it's in May, so it's quite, quite soon. I'll know by next week if I can, um, so I'll let you know on that. Obviously, this week has been uh, Passion Tide, and now we are into Easter. It's Bank Holiday Monday, and we were going to be developing the front garden. Now, this has been postponed for two reasons. The first reason is that it simply is too wet. Um, and uh, that's fine with me because we don't quite know exactly what we're going to be doing with it anyway. My parents are going to be sorting a little bit of it out with me this afternoon. I think we're going to be measuring up things like retaining walls because we want to have a sort of layered, a tiered garden basically with terraces. Um, we were going to go for brick but now I think we're going to go for wood because uh, the weight isn't too much because obviously it's on the slope and uh, it's cheaper. <laughs> uh, so we'll see about that. I'll, I'll let you know what happens um, as that goes on. The other reason that that's been cancelled is because I'm afraid I've been ill. Um, it doesn't happen very often, uh, but it did happen uh, this past um, week. Uh, and it's been a little bit of a bummer, really, because it's ruined, for me, the Easter celebration with my parents. Um, as, a, as, as is our tradition, our family tradition, we sort of all meet up at occasions like this and, and have a family sort of luncheon. I wasn't able to attend because I was ill. Um, and whilst I am now more or less fully recovered, so it was only sort of a 24-hour thing, I think really it was actually um, mild, very mild, sort of food poisoning. I'm not quite sure. Um, but I didn't want to risk it being something that could spread to, you know, like my nan, who's, who's sort of elderly and she'd be there. Didn't want her to get it. Uh, so I said, look, I'm going to stay here. I can't eat anyway. Um, I can now, but I, I couldn't then. Um, so that was my, my Sunday was sort of ruled out through that, really. And um, I did watch, um, uh, I couldn't even get to church, really. I, I just wasn't fit to go out or do anything. And I thought the best thing to do is to rest and to sleep it off because obviously um, I'd had my early the day before so I hadn't got much sleep for that. And then the night was interrupted after that so two rubbish nights uh, left me completely uh, wasted. But I'm pleased to say that now I seem to be more or less in full health uh, so I shall be okay to return to work tomorrow. Um, I have Sunday, Monday off anyway, so this bank holiday isn't like a special holiday for me. It's something that I always have off. Um, but there we are, that's just to sort of let you know that. Now, as I was here and I didn't have much to do, I discovered that um, it's funny because I, 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 I felt like, uh, despite the fact I wasn't very well, I actually enjoyed being here at Markenfield. 
Um, there's just little things about it, uh, like for example, I could sit out on the uh, on the steps at the back backyard and get some air, which I couldn't do at Granville. Um, and you know, if the wind's in the right direction, you can hear sheep. <laughs> Don't ask me how, but you can hear sheep. Um, I think probably from the fields beyond the uh, roundabout woodlands, you can hear sheep. Um, and there's, there's 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 just little oddities like. Uh, if you stand out there on a, you know, at about six o'clock, you can hear dishes being sort of washed up in houses nearby. So with the little clinks of, um, uh, I don't know, spoons against uh, the um, the china, um, or, or them being put into the racks after they've been washed. Uh, people around here, you know, if it's warm, they have their back doors open. Um, and you can sort of hear sort of little bits of conversations or people coming in and out. Lots of children around um, that are sort of playing, you know, bouncing balls. And you can hear the, the boing, 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 boing as they're bouncing balls around. Um, I, I love it. It, it was really um, the ultimate test to prove if this was something that I just quickly did to get out of, of Granville. Or if this was something that I actually love and will grow to truly love over time you know when i was at my worst um am i happy uh, where i am or do i um do i dislike certain bits about it do you see do you, do you follow i don't know if you do um but for me being ill in granville for example made it worse um whereas here actually it wasn't that bad um and that's a very very good sign uh, it's a sign that I actually do love Mark and Field, um, and a sign that no doubt I will come to love it more. Um, it's just so lovely to have your own home, even when you're feeling down, and even when you're feeling ill. It cheers you up just to think, you know, this is mine. Um, and it gives you the warm fuzzies. I'm sorry if that doesn't make much sense to you. Um, if you know me, you'll probably understand what I mean. Uh, but um, yeah, we've had a, you know, I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything. I've had to rest and do absolutely nothing this, this, this weekend. But I have made a discovery and that is that I do truly love Markenfield. I, I love its quirks. I love the sounds. I love the, the smells. I love everything uh, about this place. It is so homely that even when I am depressed, even when I am um, hurting, uh, physically, even when I am ill um, and, and just feel absolutely rotten, it cheers me up.